Hi, JP here. Sophie and Louise at the department store for the mind asked me to take a survey of my character strengths and I answered lots of questions either strongly agreeing, agreeing, feeling neutral or disagreeing or strongly disagreeing on a range of different topics and the survey yielded 24 different character strengths which apply as I understand it to everybody and it ordered them uh, for me and the three that I am apparently strongest on are the ones I've written on the blackboard behind me creativity curiosity and social intelligence and to be honest I'm not particularly surprised because I've done uh, lots of exercises trying to find my values before and those ones come up again and again what do they mean let me read to you from the survey which is um, I'm sure going to be clear in links down here so that anyone who watches this can take the survey themselves creativity thinking of novel and productive ways to conceptualize and do things includes artistic achievement but is not limited to it curiosity taking an interest in ongoing experience for its own sake finding subjects and topics fascinating exploring and discovering social intelligence being aware of the motives and feelings of others and oneself, knowing what to do to fit in different social situations, knowing what makes other people tick. So Sophie and Louise asked, when do I draw on those strengths most and with whom? I think the answer is all the time and with anyone I can. Uh, they seem to be strengths that are well suited to um, the kinds of work that I've done journalism and writing books and uh, being a coach and it might explain why I feel so particularly frustrated if I want to do something creative with other people and, and they don't want to do it then I'm not getting number three or number one uh, so I hope that makes that answer clear hmm And now we come to the question about the things I scored less highly in. The three qualities, and what are they called? Qualities or character strengths? They are called strengths, yeah. Okay, the three strengths that were at the bottom of the list were as follows. I've put them on the board too. Humility, prudence and bravery. Hmm. It's... It's interesting because they're all presented as my strengths, but because they're at the bottom of the list, it feels like they're not my strengths. And uh, it's almost some kind of a reproach. I know that's not the point of the exercise. The point of the exercise is to invite myself to build up those muscles and use them more. Uh, but right this second, I'm thinking, what little humility I have to be recording a film about this. Why does anyone care? And also, is it prudent? Probably not. Uh, and then I get a bit confused that the last two in particular really confuse me. Is it really the case that I'm... Um, uh, the, the prudence and bravery all, almost feel like a, a contradiction in terms. So I just don't know quite how... If I'm trying to be more brave, am I being prudent? If I'm being more prudent, am I holding myself back? So I am, I am struggling with that, as I think you can see. Let me just read what it says. Humility, letting one's accomplishments speak for themselves, not regarding oneself as more special than one is. Prudence, being careful about one's choices, not taking undue risks, not saying or doing things that might later be regretted. And bravery, not shrinking from threat, challenge, difficulty or pain, speaking up for what's right even if there's opposition, acting on convictions even if unpopular, includes physical bravery but is not limited to it. And then, um, very helpfully, Sophie and Louise, to focus my mind on um, the good stuff, not beating myself up, you said, um, is there a way I could use my top strength to help me build up my least used strength? Well, I suppose I'm making this film and I'm not just typing the answers and I'm trying to be a bit creative not very creative, but writing on a blackboard uh, in order to address these questions. I have found it really interesting to do this exercise. And I've walked around with my um, my results folded up in my pocket so I can look at them every so often. I've thought about ways in which I might do a bit more of this and a bit more of that. 
I'm also quite keen not to neglect the ones in the middle of the list. They're important too. Um, very interesting. And then, so your last point. Strengths are like muscles. Simply naming a strength in someone can amplify it. Who could you reach out to right now and compliment on one of their strengths? Hmm. A lot of people have leapt into my mind. And for their sake, I'm not going to name them on this video, but I am going to do it. And I am going to compliment them on their strengths. So I'm grateful for the reminder. Thank you for asking me to do the survey. I hope anybody who has watched this far is intrigued enough to look up and find the link wherever it is. Where are you going to put the link? Sophie and Louise, is it going to be down here? Um, and then take the survey yourself and consider your own strengths and how you could build up the ones that you're not using all that much and thrive on the ones that are your key character strengths. Thank you very much. Good night.